You know, guys, it's this scene. You know, I'm, I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan. And uh, it's this scene. Y'all remember that scene when he fought Chuck Norris? If y'all ain't seen it, it'd be in a link. But look at the end when he uh, when he when he had to choke him out. Right. It was a fight to death. Right. Both of them knew that they was there to kill the other one. Nobody. Both of them was not leaving out. It was only going to be one person. So even the, and then when Bruce Lee choked him out and killed him, look at his face after he killed him. He felt bad, didn't he? Because that shows the human side. It showed the hum the uh, humaneness of Bruce Lee. You see, even though he was this fighting machine and could kill people and stuff like that, he showed his humane side. Imagine if he had to kill Chuck Norris and then he just would have walked out of there like like, like it didn't even face him. Well, that, that just wouldn't be humane, now would he? You would question. You would have questioned Bruce Lee's humaneness. I noticed he did that a lot in his movies. He knew he, he knew he had to kill him. Now, it didn't it didn't affect his decision. He knew he had to do what he had to do. Uh there was even a thing where Master Farad Muhammad cried because I think I learned this from Tariq Hamza. I think uh, Master Farad uh, Muhammad told one of his closest advisors, even God cries. Why did Master Farad Muhammad cry? Because because he know he was born to destroy. Why you think God has so much like forgiveness? I mean, look at look at the state of the goddamn world for God's sakes, guys. How much patience God's had. I, I, that's why I told you I couldn't be God, but he's going to kill him. And it don't matter. He's going to kill him anyway. anyway. <laughs> and, and as I'm talking about this, guys, watch this. Watch this. See that? That's my life, guys. That's my life. Communicating directly with God. It offends. I, I have offended people by telling them I can. I, I communicate directly with God. Y'all know that really offends people, don't you? I gotta stop. I gotta stop saying that. But no, I don't tell everybody. But when people start talking about, do I pray? I, I say, you fool. I, I communicate directly with God. And then they hate you. Wait a minute. I thought you loved God. Shouldn't you love me if I'm telling you telling you that? <laughs> People, people fucked up in the head, y'all. They say they believe in God, but they hate, but they hate people. They hate the person with the gift. And what kind of shit sense does that make? But just getting back, Master Fraud Muhammad cried because he knew he was born to destroy. So that shows. Well, when I was learning about Master Fraud Muhammad, that showed me that God does have this human side to him, even though he was born to kill millions and trillions of people. How, I mean, how can the hell exist? Unless you have a God that's a little bit like the devil. So anyway, but getting back to Bruce Lee. Yeah, he had to kill Chuck Norris. He didn't have a, he didn't have a choice. He had to kill him. Not only because of what Chuck would do to him if he let him live, but what he might do to other people like him. So he had to kill Chuck Norris. Check out the link, guys. One of my favorite scenes. And he let Chuck Norris win so he could kill him in the end. <laughs> I guess so he wouldn't feel that bad. Well, you know, I let him I let him knock me down a few times. <laughs> so, so that helped him so he can go to sleep at night. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, there's there's a you know, there's a human side to everything that we have to do in life, even when you have to destroy. Not only to protect yourself, but to protect the lives of others, you know you have to destroy. It's not about the individual. It's about humanity as a whole. The decisions that we have to make, whether to let people uh, live or die, doesn't come down to the individual. Now, in this type of situation, the, the individual doesn't, doesn't matter. It's about the collective. 
when you're talking about life and death situations, you cannot let these people go free because of what they will do to the other people who not as strong as me. That's what matters here.